Okay. Hello, I'm Chris Smith with Intelligration, and I want to talk to you a little bit about the Camlock tools and the full shipment that we're sending off to Fluid Analytics down there. This is the parallel gripping tool. It has, uh, it has the, these tip jaws that actually stay parallel as the jaws being opened and closed. The adjustment of those jaws are actually achieved with this handle. You can use the tool with the gripper jaws to get a nice parallel grip on your cam lock fitting, pick it up, set it, uh, set it onto the cam lock fitting, and then reach down and, and go ahead and actuate the uh, cam lock ears to bring your unit clear back into where you go. So with this angled out a little bit, it just gives you a better view of being able to get in there. This is the standard gripper end effector that has just the pivoting jaws. So you'll see that the jaws pivot, but the tips also pivot and don't remain parallel. Uh, this is the standard unit that uh, has the interchangeable jaws. The parallel unit does not have the interchangeable jaws. On the coupling end here, that uh, intercoupling actually catches on the edge of the castellated alignment uh, intercoupling, and that keeps uh, it from rotating, so you can uh, perform some torque on there. Inside this tube is actually a spring which pushes the jaw open in its natural state. So, you can have multiple extensions already on this where you're 20 feet down and the, the tool has sprung open. So I'm also providing you with a, a, a rod coupling tool that has a little notch in it. And with that, you can actually, even with a stack of you know, 20 feet of tools, you can reach down here, grab this thing and pull it open and let it catch on that side there so that, it, so that it's ready to be able to add another extension. So you have a male and female sections here. The, the coupling gets attached and you can do this multiple poles all the way up. You can see the castles there on that piece. It'll go in, you hold the coupling nut, you spin the tool or you just spin the coupling nut either way. And you can feel it, you can feel it start to lock in to that, to that location. The, it'll lock in such that the handle is either either in line, in line with the tool here, or perpendicular. So those are your four choices of alignment. Uh, the tool is has interchangeable jaws simply by taking out two tapered set screws here. So the tapered set screw comes out that uh, that locks in the jaw. It locks the jaw both centered as well as pulls it into the jaw receiver. So all jaws have this kind of geometry base on it. So if we wanted to put in the tine jaws, it has the same base, fits right in there. All jaws fit all other jaw bases, all alignment pins fit all other alignment pins. And now we have a, now we have a new jaw for a different operation. I'm also sending you, this is, these are called the tine jaws. So they work great for picking up uh, debris without a lot of, um, without a lot of other, uh, uh, with, yeah, for, for example, sludge, you leave the sludge and you can bring the, you can uh, take the debris out. Uh, also sending you a set of these plastic scoops. I do want to warn you that the scoops are plastic. And if you want to grab on a piece of pipe or something, you're just going to snap the plastic. So the plastic is kind of for demonstration purposes. If you want to demonstrate scooping up some sand and seeing how well that, that captures that, it's a great demo for that. But uh, please be, uh, be gentle with that. So this is a set that I'm planning on sending you. Uh, enjoy. Thank you.